their beast. Oi, what you doing here? I heard Zivik can't wait for you to get back. Plow it all. If we miss muster, he'll have us flogged. Get us out of here, will ya? You came here on your own. You can get back on your own. This place is crawling with droners. I mean, we'd have stayed in our tents on our arses if we'd known. We're safe in the circle, but three feet outside? And who knows what would happen. All right, we'll go back together, but let me look around first. Apparently it's bad luck to tread on the ashes. Nothing. Again. Nothing interesting. enough to bring all these things here. Strange aura. Let's take a closer look. Carved from a solid piece of stone. Reusable, you could say. Candles, amulets, coins. People make offerings here like they would at a shrine. Candles. The stench is worse than Zoltan's boots. Nothing unusual about them otherwise. Square coins adorned with a fish. I guess the plotters like to come here. Let's see. Candles. The stench is worse than... An unnatural stillness typical of intersections and places where streams of the power meet. Unnerving, but harmless. People seem to be staying away from the wheel. They're afraid, while the gifts are at a safe distance from it. Except for one person. With Kedweni Army Issue boots. Glad to know I'm not the only one to desecrate this site. Animal tracks. Dogs, wolves, bears, even birds. You'd think this was a feeding ground, but they all fear the circle. Except for cats. Their tracks are everywhere. One even napped on the pedestal. Triss once told me cats like to sleep on intersections, and they're the only beasts apart from dragons who can draw the power. They clearly like this place. Sabrina was nailed to this wheel. Something protected the wheel from the flames. It's hardly scorched. Hmm. Fresh holes and splinters. Someone's pulled nails from the wheel recently. I better take one, just in case. I need to bring the king here. I need to reenact the execution. If I can only summon Sabrina's ghost, I could force her to lift the curse. The Draugrs and the Mist will remain, but at least the king will be safe. 
I need to know what happened here. Witnesses of the execution, they're the key. If I can just find out how Sabrina died, I should be able to free Henselt of the curse. Two leads. Sabrina's cultists and the nail thief who's obviously immune to the aura of this place. Time to question some soldiers. You've looked and touched your fill, right? Let's get out of here. Did you light those candles? We did. What's it to you? From what I've seen, it's not safe here. The beasts are too scared to come near the circle. Maybe, but you gotta leave the circle to return to camp. Help us get back! If you all know this area is infested with monsters, why the hell did you come here? On a kind of pilgrimage to visit the circle. Feel their eyes on you. They're watching us. We won't get out alive, superstitious idiots that we are. Don't you believe the visionary? You don't have to. But it was worth a try, right? Old idiot. It's his fault we ended up here. What kind of stories did the visionary tell? He says, if we burn candles, the dead sorceress's spirit will save us from death and battle. He also says only those who believe will survive. I believe him. Know why? He lives deep in the valleys, but something protects him from all those harpies. Did you see them burn the sorceress? Three years ago. We both served under Henselt then, but only the fifth company guarded the stake. They say the king never wanted to make a spectacle. Some soldiers never come here, but others visit the circle to check the remains. You're just like them. To you, it's only a superstition to make money from. You're looking for old nails in the ashes. Like that shitbag who trades outside the inn? You're mistaking me for someone else. Really? Didn't give us the nails. I'm keeping it. Keeping it? Not heard what they say. Relics are like fist tech for simple folk. I don't like this place. Thought you'd want to stay the night here. I know at least a few places I'd rather sleep. Come on. Beats me why they've been fighting over these hellholes for generations. I get goosebumps every time I go outside the palisade. Guess the Vic was right. We should have sat on our arses. You'll be with. Curses on him! If it wasn't for you that have eaten us! We owe you our lives, Witcher. We can't let Zivik catch us. Don't shit your pants! Sabrina saved us from the monsters. So what's one little Zivik to her?
You're not the one we seek, though his aura is strong, even on you. Impossible. I watched Maverick wash his pants. Who are you? I'm a witcher, and I'm here because you haunt an innocent man. You've ruined Maverick's life, and it's high time you left this world. Maverick? Innocent? That son of a bitch murdered me and my two sisters, then threw our bodies off the cliff. Our father, Malgat, died of despair. Fortunately, fate has brought Maverick here again, straight into our hands. Revenge shall be ours. I need to find out if you're telling the truth. If your story checks out, I'll bring Maverick here. What do you want, Witcher? There's a soldier by the inn selling scraps from Sabrina's execution site. I know. The damn Quartermaster. This business of his muddles the minds of the soldiers. Suddenly, everyone believes a splinter in your pocket will protect you in battle. Half-wits. After what happened here three years ago, it's no surprise they're terrified. I'll tell you one thing, Witcher. In combat, I can count on my shield, my armor, and my comrades, if they still live. Many of those boys will die in Vergen, even with their pockets stuffed with mystical splinters that cost a silver piece each. I want them to be afraid. When steel hits steel, I want them to be alert, damn it! If they're dumb and put their trust in rusty nails and ashes, they won't have a hope in hell. The soldiers you were looking for, they got held up for a while at Sabrina's Circle. Ah, oh, the idiots! To be duped by witchcraft and superstitions! I'll put them to scrubbing the latrines indefinitely. But uh, I thank you for bringing them back. Your reward, as promised. Did you see Sabrina's execution? Wish I could have, but only the fifth company was sent there. She deserved it. What she did to the boys. Believe me, I've seen a lot of monstrosities in my life. My brother died during a coup in Rhind when a mage boiled the blood in his veins. Also, I once saw a soldier raping a dead elf woman. But three years ago, people melted like lead. Something you can't forget, Witcher. I heard there's a man living outside the camp known as the Visionary. Ever met him? The soldiers talk about him, but I've never seen him. If I ever do, he'll regret that he fooled my people with all those superstitions. So long. Have you managed to do anything, Witcher? I went to the house where you and your unit were stationed. Found some interesting things in the cellar. I know nothing of that. And don't wish to know anything. I just want to be rid of that phantom. I can't help you if you don't tell me the truth. If I must. Folks say that old Malgat conspired with the river demons. So much blood has flowed down the Pontar, it's the evil in it that the beings in the river's depths feed on. That's all I know, truly. The spectres manifest themselves even when you're absent. They've burrowed deep into your subconscious. If I killed them now, they'd return instantly, so I need your help to destroy them. If there's no other way, what would you ask of me? Meet me at the beach, an hour before midnight. Come on, no reason to keep the specters waiting. returned, brother. Time to atone for your evil deeds. You shall surrender to us your soul. Kiss my arse, Phantom. You'll not make me shit myself this time. Me and the Witcher will dispatch you where you belong. Naive little Maverick. Made a fool of your entire life. 
Isn't that true, Geralt? What? What are they talking about? The Spectres say you're their brother, and you murdered them three years ago. What do you say? How can you even ask? I'm a soldier, not a murderer! Denying it is not enough. You need to prove your innocence, and I need to know the truth before I make my choice. I never murdered anyone! I'm a soldier! I kill foes, not women! I'll take your word over that of evil spirits. Now help me. I'll not forget what you did for me. I did it for coin. Small price for peace of mind. Don't you owe me an explanation? I want to hear the truth. I was born by the very border. General van der Grift understood that I knew every blade of grass here. So he appointed me lead scout. We were based in my family's house. This house? One day, I scouted beyond the river. When I returned, I found my father digging the graves behind the house. What happened? Honor was everything to him. He had brought us up, taught us principles, and then one day, Adernian soldiers arrived and undid all that. Shamed his children. He could not stop himself. He swore he did not do it, but there was blood in his clothes. We fought. We fell from the cliff. Why did the Spectres want your soul? Maybe they've no tolerance for patricide. Maybe. Now go back to camp and present proof of your valor. Take back your dignity. said this name was the closest to her right hand. You fool! Relics, artifacts, trinkets and talismans. Hallowed and highly valuable. I found footprints at Sabrina's execution site. Do you know anything about that? Why would I? You found them, not me. Yet your boots are black from ash. Shh! All right. What do you want to know? Do you believe in the power of your merchandise? You mean the relics? Others believe in them, that's what counts. They'll believe in anything that gives them hope. Soldiers shit their pants and throw up in fear before going into battle. If kissing a rusty nail gives them courage, then in my book, it works. Did you see Sabrina's execution? Sure I did. I was in the 5th Company. I remember the commotion when that idiot Yahon killed her with a spear. Ah, uh, if only I had that spear now. Where is Yahan's spear now? I don't know. Besides which, it's none of your concern. I simply won't talk about that. You know Yahan? Never heard of him. Where'd you get the idea that I know him? Do you remember the curse that Sabrina placed on the king? When they set the stake on fire, she shouted something to the king. His face went red, but I couldn't hear very well. She probably foretold his syphilis. A gruesome death. Do you remember the sorceress Sabrina? Same as all the others. Looked like a young nympho with an old hag inside. You want to talk about her? See that freak who burns candles? I'm interested in objects that belong to the soldiers who perished in the battle three years ago. Not any old things. They have to be magically active. I know how to check. That's not my speciality, Witcher. I deal in relics. Got anything interesting there? 
Ash from the stake where Sabrina burned. Nails that fastened the wheel of death. Splinters from the wheel. I've also got some metal parts and some of the martyr's garments. Whatever your heart desires. Been observing you for a while now. <laughs> and? Just wondering if I can bring you in alive. And get a higher reward, you know. Well, you can't. Damn shame, I'd say. For your help, Witcher. We were in a tight spot there. The Rodfins are multiplying like rabbits. We were on our way to see the visionary. 
Bearing gifts and all. But I'll be damned if I take one more step that way. Wouldn't be on your way to see him, would you? If you are, give him this coin for us. Ah, do what you will. Quick! You'll be safe here! Over here! Inside the cannon! Quick! You'll be safe here! Over here! Inside the candles! Quick! You'll be safe here! We're safe here! I awaited them. They were to come bearing gifts. I heard their cries. Guess they were attacked. If they're not here, they must be dead. No, they're alive. They didn't want to risk it anymore, went back to camp. They asked me to give you this coin, for candles. This is but half. Why I'll not do more than braid some wicks for this? What do you want from me? I'll not believe you came here by chance. Yeah, you're right. I need to learn some things, and few are willing to talk. Sabrina Glebesig's story, that's what interests me most. Listen, I'll not speak with you until I get my coin. Pure and simple. Though I do provide charitable help to the faithful, if you were to become one of them. Do you mock me? What's the idea? This is piddling. I've heard a lot of good things about you. All right, I'll become a follower. Wonderful. Listen then, for I'll not say this twice. If your intentions are pure, you will do as I ask. Each convert must pass a test. You will spend the night at the old chapel near Sabrina's pupils. Where? Twin lakes I have named in her honor. Is that all? Before you kneel to meditate, you will drink the mixture I shall give you. You must then remember all that occurs. That's very important as you'll need to recount it to me fully. All right, I'll come back once I'm done. Place. The bloody comet. Square comet. Tournaments. Now that's a pastime for real men. I'm here about the Rot Fiend contract. What about it? The fiends have rotted for good. Well done. We lost many patrols to them. Here's your reward. As long as they pay us. Look what the cat dragged in. Can you make anything out of these notes, sorcerer? Where did you get them? Unimportant. And you've no notion what's in them? 
wouldn't be asking if I did. They describe a very dangerous ritual, practically pure necromancy, the sort that gets you burned at the stake. Be specific. What kind of ritual? One to summon the soul of an evil man, a man evil enough to wander the world after death. Souls of this kind gladly enter into covenants in the hope of being sent into the beyond. Why would anyone want to deal with evil? The possible reasons are many. You'll always find people willing to sell their souls in exchange for something valuable to them. I'll gladly buy the scroll. I thought necromancy was forbidden. Oh, it is, but I'm an avid collector of manuscripts containing forbidden knowledge. The manuscript is yours, for the right price. Huh? What other matters? I did what you asked. Tell me what you saw. You may think I am as mad as you are, but in my vision I walked through a forest where the trees were huge mushrooms and a giant chicken walked between them, pecking at the underbrush. You have no idea how happy I am. I've been having this vision of a giant hen among mammoth mushrooms for weeks. I thought I'd lost it, gone insane. Turns out my herbs must have gone off. I need to gather new ones, but that's my concern. Ask me what you will. You must know a lot about Sabrina Glevisig's death. Uh, Sabrina the Martyr left the world of the living to protect us all. Did you hear about the curse Sabrina cast on the king? Of course. A well-deserved punishment, a ghostly spell from her crimson lips. The king concocted a cruel fate for the sorceress, humiliated her, made her suffer the flames. Bound to a wheel and placed on the stake, she suffered in a way unimaginable to ordinary humans. But when the flame reached her maiden waist, not a single cry could be heard, only words foretelling King Hensel's imminent demise. Let a shooting star split the heavens and mark its mortal journey with a braid of blood. Let fools be duped by the sight of fish scales, turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules, prompting a just punishment. Sabrina suffered so badly that a merciful soldier ended her torment, thrusting his spear into her aching heart. Why the candles? What's the difference between Sabrina and other mages burned at the stake? Others were strong in life. Her power bloomed when death wrapped its steely arms around her. She took the soldier who ended her suffering under her kind care. He never had to fear walking alone in the dark again. Have you seen the area? It's full of beasts and monstrosities. Jahan, the merciful soldier, has walked in the blaze of our power ever since. No creature born of darkness can get close to him. Any chance of finding that spear? It was so long ago, Witcher. But I believe the spear went to another soldier. The bugger sells relics from Our Lady by the Camp Inn. I know who you mean. So long. I had a mate from Rivia, but they killed him. 
I don't know why I'm telling you that. Relics, artifacts, trinkets and talismans. Hallowed and highly valuable. I know you have the spear Yahan used to pierce Sabrina's heart. I told you about that. And I thought the old freak was trying to forget the sins of his past. I need that spear. Tough luck, Witcher. I last saw it a few years back. What happened to it? Look how similar we are. You want knowledge, I want coin. And we both need help to get what we want. How much? What are your customary takings on a contract? I'll gladly accept but one half of that. The fate of your king depends on that spear. All right. Since you put it that way. You see, when Yahan lost his head for Sabrina, I bought the spear from the innkeeper. The donkey's ass pawned it in the inn. He drank like a fish. By then, Yahan had already hidden in the hills where no one dares to venture. Some call him the visionary, but in my book, he's just a nutter. Beats me why the beasts don't attack him. A fisherman who supplies the canteen said that some monsters hate the smell of fish oil. Yahon makes candles out of it. What did you do with the spear? Sorry to say I lost it in a dice game. Shame, because today it'd fetch a good price. I lost the spear to a soldier who later fought the squirrels in the forests of the Pontar Valley. He told me he'd used it to kill some Scoyatel big shot. I heard the shaft cracked as if there'd been some fucking jousting tournament. The most interesting thing is, that big shot is still alive. I heard he's now with that vixen from Edern. Some frigging commander. Elves are weird creatures. Who knows, maybe he still has that spearhead. Yorveth. You know him. I'll tell you for a hundred orans. Bah! I've got to get through the mist, or I can't lift the curse. I shall supply the white flag when you set out as our emissary. The lass is reputedly honorable. She'll welcome you, invite you to a feast, and with a bit of luck you may even plow her. You're sick, Deathmold. They say she's very pretty. Peasant girls not to your liking? Not your concern. In case the elves lack an understanding of diplomatic symbolism, please also take this armor. With His Majesty's blessing, I might add. A king's concern can be boundless when his life depends on that of another. I spent some time working on this recently. This little marvel will guide you through the fog and provide a measure of protection from the spectres. Thanks. Learn anything new about the curse? The mage on the other side of the fog is also probing the battlefield. A sorceress. How do you know? You shall know them by the fruit of their spells. Magic differs with the brain type that generates it. The female mind is simply laid out differently. It could be Triss. No, Witcher, it's someone far more powerful. I think I know how to free the king from his curse. Well then, let's get to work. Can't do anything until I have the spear the soldier stabbed Sabrina with. Problem is, it's in the hands of a Scoyatel commander named Yorveth. I know this, Yorveth. Are you certain this is the spear? Mm -hmm. I last saw him back in Flotsam. Yorveth is in Vergen, Witcher. Along with most of the Scoyatel from the area, they joined that peasant girl's insurgency. Yorveth part of a peasant uprising? It doesn't make sense. Well, there's only one way to confirm or disprove it. You must cross to the other side of the mist. What of the other artifacts? Do you know them all now? Not yet. In that case, you must wait until you've learned everything before crossing. It's a dangerous voyage. Not one to attempt twice, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say. You must know a lot about the Wild Hunt, as one of the reigning majesties among mages. Oh, I simply cannot concern myself with folk tales about corpses flying about on intensely emaciated steeds. The Wild Hunt's no myth. See you. Good to see you, you old rogue. Why the long face, Sultan? Everything's fucked. The only sight worse than a sad dwarf is the sight of a very sad dwarf. I don't suppose you have any vodka? I see things are worse than I thought. I feel like a monkey in a cage. Those pricks act as if they've never seen a dwarf before. If you need a change of climate, come with me. I'm on my way to Bergen. You say that as if you're going to the brothel round the corner. Forgetting about the specters? 
I may have amnesia, but I remember the curse. Well, all I get around here is non-human midget and the like. And I've dwarven brethren on that side. Sure as shit, I'll take Saska over that prick Hensel too. You really willing to help me cross? Of course. You know, Geralt, I have a feeling that Vergen's where I should be. I get you. Let's go. How do you plan to get through the fog? Thought it was suicide to venture into it. Deathmold gave me a protective amulet. Throw it out! I wouldn't touch anything belonging to that dick. The magical potential of the talisman will cause a local interference in the astral projection, creating disharmony where the two dimensions of reality meet. Uh, a meaning? The mist should part to let us pass. You should have put it like that to begin with, instead of all that crap about astral bodies. I'll go with you. I can't wait to have this proper ale instead of that piss water to drink in the kid when he come. Thanks again, Geralt. Crossing ahead of us, Sultan. Looking to scare me now? We're going. And that's that. Never again. Fucking fog. Look at it this way. You'll be able to brag about seeing the ghostly fog from the inside for the rest of your life. Well, I'd rather brag about how I plowed three wenches at once in my youth. Kill him! Edon! Stop! You're making a mistake! A mistake? Interesting. There's a war on. Don't know if you've noticed. And wars are won by killing foes. Or do I have it all wrong? The Witcher's a messenger. On his way to see Saskia. Not your typical messenger. Well, I don't know if you noticed. But we had to pass through an atypical fog in which your typical messenger would have shit just before he... Enough! We'll not let you inside, Vergen. But you can deliver your message to the commander of the Watch. He's stationed by the town gates. Plowing typical elf. Come on, Geralt. Why, it's Geralt of Rivia and Zoltan Chive. Pinch me, Burton, for I believe I've dozed off while in duty. Could be an illusion, eh? Or some spectres from the battlefield have lost their way. Maybe we ought to tickle them with an axe, just to be sure. <laughs> I'm afraid there's no mage out there who can conjure up the Witcher's mug, nor the aroma of Zoltan's beer-soaked beard. <laughs> Yarpin Zigrin! Lice eat me if I'm not delighted to see that horrid mug of yours. <laughs> this lad here's scale and burden. Geralt, what are you doing standing there as if you've swallowed a halberd? Got a hug for an old mate? Greetings. Triss has told me a lot about you. We Marigold? Ha! How is the lass? Let me tell you, Scalen. This here witch has the very embodiment of chivalry. All the silk cups of the world can't hold a candle to him. And you know why? No, but I got a feeling we're about to find out. Me, a knight? I'd sooner call Zoltan a show dancer. Well then, listen everyone. At the time, we were escorting Kainwani army convoys through the Sherwin forests. Aye, aye, we served Hensel once, though all was for coin. Anyways. 
The Witcher was on the road as well, with Triss and Ciri, heading south. The lass, I tell you, was a demoness incarnate. Pure pepper on her feet, and healthy as a horse. But the sorceress fell ill. Some terrible pestilence held her, gave her the runs. That woman needed to go every five minutes. Never seen anything like it, and I've had my share of gut rumblings. This one time, I roasted an old ailing gerbil and... Oi, you promised us a chivalrous tale. And I'm delivering it, lad. In any case, the witcher would carry her into the bushes time after time. He treated and cared for her, cleaned her, bathed her. Sounds normal to me. A man looking after his woman. It's too much to call it chivalrous, Yarpin. Ah, wrong. Triss weren't his woman. Not his wife, nor lover. She was sick and in need of aid. And he was on a secret mission. Might have left her in some city, might have gone off on his own, but he didn't. Know why? Because he's got a heart of gold. He truly cares. A lad like you, Scalin. Don't know that being a knight's not just about thrashing around in full plate, a long sword in hand. It's not just about fighting duels and winning tournaments. Damn! I missed hearing your bullshit, Zigrun. Hmm, I don't believe anyone else has tried to tell me that story. How is the wee Marigold, anyway? Not great. The Kingslayer kidnapped her. Oh, damn the dogs! That's downright terrible! I suppose it's no coincidence you're here. Triss could be somewhere in this area. The plague. I've not seen her five years, must be. Since that day they proclaimed you dead. Last saw her in Rivia, in any case. From what I've been able to establish, the Kingslayer forced her to teleport the two of them to this area. And she's not on the other side of the fog. What did this Kingslayer look like? A huge, bald witcher. Wears a medallion with a snake on it. Sorry, Geralt. Doesn't even ring the tiniest bell. Any of that. I might know something. This drunk in Vurgan claims he saw a redhead fall from the sky somewhere among the ravines. And then he said the sorceress Philippa Eilhart came around looking for this woman. Shriveled old mix. She sent her servant and some peasants to the ravines after her. But they came back empty-handed. Now Philippa's serving me, it's gone. Leaving the sorceress angry as a wasp. She even turned one of the plebs into a pig. I spoke to one of those peasants. He claims the lass was no servant, but an Elfgardian agent. And she apparently found something in those ravines. Maybe it was Triss. And maybe it was that witcher. Madam Eilhart, or the old minx as Yarpin calls her, knows she's been duped and can't forgive herself for it. Did the woman flee south, deeper into Edirne? Fucking hell! She came out the main gate not more than an hour ago, headed straight for the fog. Thought she might be out to do some magic probing or whatnot. She knew a bit of magic. She might have crossed. I guess I need to visit Schillard when I get back. I have to see Saskia. To what end? To dispel the mist of wraiths, I need a few magic artifacts. What's Saskia got to do with that? Her sword is one of those items. And what do you suggest I do? Yorvath and Saskia banned us from letting strangers in. And here are two old mates come over from the other side who want just that. A lose-lose situation if ever I've seen one. That ought to be easy to get around. Cow pies ought to be easy to get around. Yet we don't always succeed. I'm staying here, Yarpen. I want to join you, enlist. Will you have me in the Dwarven Brigade? Will I have you, Chiefy? Will I plow and have you? Why, I'll make you a fucking commander, you cocksucker! Problem solved. Scalin, you're my witness. Zoltan's no longer a stranger. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now I'll introduce you to Saskia, and you can try to clarify the story with a sword for her. Or whatnot. Don't you fret about the sword, Geralt. I promise to ascend to the fucking heights of oratory. Be soft as a link, cautious as a novice strumpet. I'll get you that blade if I have to shave my beard off. All right, then. See that, Scalin? We were headed for a tragedy. Now we're headed for a comedy. Ah, youth these days, lacking hope and heart. You know what Zoltan and I saw at Brenner, lad? To us, there's no such thing as the impossible. How's 
Yorbeth. Any chance I might run into him? Minimal. He follows Saskia around like a once neglected pup. Eyes on her at all times. At least the lass is well protected. What do you seek from Yorbeth? Last I heard, you weren't exactly chummy. You heard right. But when I last saw him in Flotsam, he had something I need to lift the curse. Even if you see him, I doubt he'll give you anything out of the kindness of his heart. Perhaps Saskia can convince him? Guess I don't have much of a choice. Any idea where I might find the Dun Banner? Try the Netherworld. The whole unit was cut down during the battle three years ago. I meant the unit standard, which symbolizes death. Ah! That makes it a lot easier. We buried it with the remains of the Kedwenis. Where? Just outside Vergen. I'll mark it on your map as the road could get confusing. Strange things are afoot in those crypts, Witcher. Kedweni ghosts scaring off our folk. That would be normal since they were invaders. But one's some kind of amateur historian, asking all that venture there about the battle and the Dunbanner. I'll look into it. Thanks. It's nice to talk to you all, but we've got things to do. Ah, that's life. Open the gate. I've got to fetch me a certain sword. Wait a minute. If by some miracle you obtain that cursed blade, I'd advise you not to parade it out the main gate past the squirrels. Got another solution? There's another passage. I'll mark it in the Witcher's map and show you myself. Sound all right to you? It does. In the meantime, I'll look around for that flag. Prime, I'd say. Off we go then. favor Lady Saskia, as she claims. The gods never favor rebellions that seek to topple the natural law. Admit it. You'd rather not see a woman at the head of an army. Especially when sorceresses surround her. Even a child knows that sorceresses are godless, deceitful, and lecherous. Even be father. If they're willing to fight for us, let them. I see no need to pick deep their covers. So you wish to tell me the sorceresses stand to gain nothing from this? Ah, it would be the first time in history, and I simply don't believe it. Saskia believes them. They've bewitched her! Saskia the pious? Black magic don't cling to her. I think we'd better change the subject before things get out of hand.
Who are you, and what do you seek? Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy, handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner, the best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Fergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right, and the Talus leading Tameria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? You're right. Strength in unity. You lie. You are not of the Dun Banner, and you must die! Witcher, I might have some work for you. Did I hear you mention a job? Indeed. One very much in your line. I know a collector in Vengerberg. He pays well for all kinds of monster-related curios. Ericus Venom? Necker Hearts? Sounds doable. Harpy Feathers. Uh-huh. Why Feathers? I never asked. Got the order and that's that. Interested? What kind of coin are we talking about? Why don't we do a test? Bring me a bundle of fine feathers for which I'll pay you, and if we're both satisfied, we'll figure things out. He's gonna want more than a bundle? That'll mean a lot of traipsing around. A few more, yes. So? I'll keep my eyes open, but no promises. I've got more important things to deal with. I've got your feathers. Wonderful! Excellent quality! Just what I needed! I'll pay for each and every one! If you're in need of coin, just bring me more! I suppose I've had to work harder for coin in the past. All right, I'll keep it in mind. Excellent! I await your return!
How many more can there be? Failed, Geralt. That was not the best idea, Witcher. Dwarves are poor liars in general, and that's especially true of this one. You know everything you need to know? Yes. You need the weapon to lift the curse from Henselt and free the souls of the Fallen. A lady, I know you're at war with Henselt, but the curse threatens Vergen as well. It's a field of uncontrollable magic energy. No need to exert yourself. I know this. The sword shall be yours. Just like that? Yes. I'm glad to help and thank you on behalf of the Vergenis, the souls of whose loved ones will finally be granted the peace they have so long deserved. Milady. I am no lady. My name is Saskia. Saskia. I'll need some time to lift the curse, enough for you to fall back. The Scoia'tael and peasants can't hope to defeat a professional army in open battle. Withdraw deeper into Edirn. You underestimate them. Looking to be another Elleryn? Do you want them to die with your name on their lips? You know that's what'll happen if there's a fight. The fighters will die quick deaths. But then Henselt's men will enter the town. They'll spare no one. They'll kill the men, rape the women, turn the beautiful ones into slaves, and torture the rest to death. I have seen conquered cities and know the risks. Why do you aid Henselt? Why do you risk your life to lift this curse? I have my own agenda. A certain seer foretold that in lifting the curse, I'd recover my memory. I'm certainly not Henselt's devoted follower. In that case, join my forces. I can't. I have certain obligations on the other side. Friends who remained in Henselt's camp. Friends I can't leave behind. I too have obligations that prevent me from fleeing or withdrawing. I cannot disappoint all those who place their trust in me. Go where you must and hope your obligations don't drive you to fight me. I'm no soldier, Saskia. You can be sure of that. Time will tell. Farewell, Witcher. And look after your friends. Penciled is a true rogue. See ya, you old prick! Don't let them kid when I do, and don't get killed. That goes for you too, Zoltan. Farewell to you both. <clears throat> Saskia, I forgot one wee thing. Geralt wishes to meet with Yorveth. He's got dealings with the elf. I need the head of the spear used to finish off Sabrina as she uttered the curse. Yorvith had it when we ran into each other in Flotsam. He lost it playing dice. Scalen now has the spearhead. The young Burden is a gambler, an addict, and perhaps Vergen's top sharp. You should speak to him. Yorvith put that spearhead up as a bet? When it comes to getting folk to sit down to a game of poker, Scalen can be convincing. His pack is bulging with treasures. You'd be surprised. All one at dice. I won't need convincing. We'll see how he does against me. Farewell to you both. I heard you have the head of Yorvith's spear. I do indeed. I could use that spearhead. Not a chance in hell. It's my trophy. Wanted off the greatest killer among elves. In certain circles, that makes me a hero. What were you playing? Dice poker. I've rolled a few dice in my time. Do I hear a challenge? Mm -hmm. I trust you'll not ask me for a handicap. Though I must warn you, I aim to be merciless. Curse or no curse. Let's begin. You play like a true sharp, almost like a cheat, but, true to my word, the spearhead's yours. Thanks, Scalen. I heard you have a few more interesting trinkets I could win off you. 
I could find something. Good, you're here. The Nilfgaardians attacked us. Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fenn, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. So, I asked the Black Dogs courteously why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger. Knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine, no larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. It is possible. Artifact compression. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The Black Ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in! We're too late! Is the Percival ready to sail? It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the Nelf Guardians on foot. If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Besides which, we know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there, I promise. King Henselt awaits you, with morons. At last. Have you got Sabrina's spear? Not only that, I've got all three artifacts. You won't regret it. Let's do some magic. Easy. First I have to see Deathmold. What for? 
We'll need some magic powder to perform the exorcisms. Ah, I'm beginning to have enough of this magic nonsense. Magic can only be defeated by magic, Your Majesty. All right, but make haste. I'll wait for you by the stake. Look what the cat dragged in. I need magic powder to mark out the runes. Are you aware that the formula requires powdered camphor resin? I am. Then you must also know that the resin is extremely valuable. Get Henselt to pay you. I need the powder to do the exorcism, reverse the prophecy, and release him from the curse. You should have said, I'll give you as much as you need. Thanks, on the King's behalf. I have one more thing you might find useful. What's that? You asked me for protective runes. I've done better. Take this grimoire, which details many. I believe there's even one for syphilis. I've marked my recommendations. Thanks. See you. Coming for you. I wanted to thank you. That was a great fight. The only great fights are those I win. It's no dishonor to lose to a mutant created for swordsmanship. If it wasn't a tournament but a battle, we wouldn't be speaking now. You were better than all the Knights of Ketwin put together. You're very kind. I'm sincere. A rare trait. Perhaps I should take advantage of this opportunity. I'd like to sit down and have an honest talk with you, but I don't have time now. Shame. Another day, maybe. He was slaughtering pigs at the time, so he takes a pig's eye and puts it between his buttocks. Yeah! He does. She died here. And pissed and shat as she did. Evil place. You can feel it in the air. Those candles don't help any either. They've gone mad. Someone said the bitch died a martyr and now the common folk burn candles for her. I have to observe this place from a distance. During the execution I was on that hill. I'll show you. Flat area. That's good. Are you concerned for your feet? Your Majesty, you need to draw runic protective signs around the stake. Magic signs are the domain of witches, not kings. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's important that you draw the circle yourself, Your Majesty. Important for whom? It was your death, Sabrina foretold. So who do you think? All right. Tell me what we do. To lift the curse, we have to reenact the events from three years ago. How do you wish to do that if half of those involved lie rotten with the worms? It's about the energy of that time. The energy of the woman who cast the curse combined with the energy of its victim. <laughs> when you get the runic signs right, Sabrina's ghost will appear. Bring the bitch to life. It'll be a pleasure to put my spear in her. Remember to stab her in exactly the same spot as that soldier did, but earlier this time, before the sorceress completes the curse. I look for the hole. But how am I to know when? When you realize that the curse concerns you. But be ready, she may use a different name. Is that all? For you. Then I take over. Spectres might appear during the exorcism. Might or will? It depends on Sabrina's aura in the spirit world. I'll wager ghosts loathe the cunt. Let's get it over with. Tell me what I am to draw. You have to go down there, Your Majesty. What about you? I'll guide you. I have a good view from up here. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, Your Majesty. Head towards the black candles, Your Majesty. Now go towards the goat skull, Your Majesty.
Now towards the burnt tree. Find the raven's corpse, your majesty. Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. Sire, form a large, even circle at a good distance from the pyre. It's turned out beautifully. Pity the wind will soon scatter it. The evil power of the curse came from the fire. Fire's a hard element to tame, and this one had added potency. It consumed the body of the one casting the curse. Enough of these phantasmagorias, as Death Mold puts it. Look at my boots! Stay in the circle, your majesty. The powder reeks of dwarven dung. scared of ghosts as we all are. Curses! There's hundreds of them! Calm down, your majesty. We're protected by the magic runes. The ghosts won't get past the barrier. I'm not afraid of people, but those plowing creatures have begun to bother me. You're safe if you stay within the runes. What should I do? When the sorceress calls your name, you have to show mercy and end her suffering with the spear. You've broken the circle. Spectres could get through. What shall we do? I'll take care of them. You finish the exorcism, Your Majesty. Curse you, Henselt! Thy blood and fire! Let it be so by blood and fire! Sure. All I can say for sure is that a dwarf can pass between a troll's legs, even on tiptoe. But I think it went well. Good. For me and for you. But all the worse for Edern. I've separated you from the curse, but it remains active and powerful. The specters of the Fallen continue to fight in the fields outside Vergen. You'll find a way, like you did with that charcoal slot. That'll be much harder. I have faith in you, and faith can move mountains. Funny you say that. I need an artifact symbolizing faith. Yes, Deathmold told me. I'll give you the medallion. 
First I must have a drink. Come to my tent. I'll roll out my best wine. You deserve it! I'm glad you're here. A messenger from Adania arrived this morning. Read. The King of Redania, Radovid V, son of Vizima and Hedrig from Malior, the heir... Get to the point. The point is, it's not true that after the death of King Foltest, Temeria will be inherited. In truth, Foltest left a lawful heir. Who is this heir? Queen Ada, daughter of King Foltest and wife of Radovid. Ada? Everyone knows she was the fruit of incest. If my memory serves, Geralt, she's under a curse, isn't she? That was true. Voltest's daughter was a Striga, but I managed to lift the curse, or else Radovid wouldn't have wed her. It appears you removed that curse twice. Third time lucky. Third, fourth, maybe fifteenth. Ada could yet save her human flesh again. Tell King Radovid that I will not honor a monster with a royal title. If Redania doesn't wish... What the hell's going on? Guards! Are they? They wanted to kill me. Me! <laughs> the scum. Witcher, we must talk. Deathmold said you needed this medallion. You saved my life, and I'm not nearly as ungrateful as some might say. You'll receive the pendant in due time. Pity none could be taken alive. Don't fret, Tanzerville. There are ways to make a dead man speak. I know those methods. Necromancy is forbidden. In the absence of the Council and the Conclave, it's hard to know what is forbidden. What would you say, Your Majesty? I want to know everything. Plow that corpse if you have to. Do anything it takes. Necromancy, Your Majesty, is a branch of magic. I don't care. Do as you're told. Count me out. Ah, as the common folks say, be at ease, the woman's gone. I'll need your help, Witcher. You know where to find me. It's never ending. I'm the bloody king, but she mumps and sulks like some common servant was trying to grope her. Not every sorcerer is like Deathmold. Many don't like messing with corpses. As long as she's in my camp, she'll do as I say. Go. Deathmold is probably biting his nails in anticipation. Geralt of Rivia, ready for the ride of your life. Can't handle this without me? You're a mutant, like this killer. An ordinary man would never survive Han Marvin's blue dream. You must drink a potion that will increase your heart's efficiency and strengthen your blood vessels. Hallucinogenic properties are also welcome, as they will enhance the vision. Gadwall should do it. 
Necromancy's awfully fishy. What do you aim to do? Han Marvin's Blue Dream is a spell that grants you a glimpse of a dead man's memories. You'll see, feel, and taste what the killer experienced in his life. As a mutant, the operation isn't at all dangerous for you. I need to do something before we begin. Have a drink, plow a girl, do something to relax. Whatever it takes. I am Myron, Master Apothecary in King Hensel's service. Geralt. Geralt. Provenance and profession known only to him, so be it. How can I help you? I want to stock up on herbs and medicine. Got a prescription? A prescription? I jest. We have supply shortages, so I can only sell you certain medicaments. Blue Dream can be very useful, although it only lets you see the killer's recent past. Hope it's worth it. Pay attention to every detail. Places, names, everything. Got it. Let's begin! Vekina Zanzala! got lost in that fog. Look at it this way. Nobody will find us here. Unless Henselt attacks Bergen despite the mess. Hensel's not going to attack anyone ever again. Always the opposite. Hensel behaves as if he wants to help us. What do you mean? You've seen him. He loves playing the soldier. He's everywhere. He's reckless. Let the whole one assassinate him like the others. Finally, some action. We've been skulking in these caves like bats. I'd rather be like the bat than slain by the king's mercenaries. What is it, boss? Scared? I heard Deathbolt never lets Hensel out of his sight. Now the witches are fighting the king. One of him, three of us. Know who it is. I know, damn it, but don't let it get to you. It's Triss Marigold that worries me. If she betrays that Sheila ordered us to get rid of Demerven, things will get out of hand. Letho should kill her. He should, but apparently he only kills kings. Here at last. They're guarding the camp like it was a princess's chest. Did you learn anything? The White Wolf has arrived at the Kedwin camp with Fernand Roach. 
Looks like he's Hensolt's lackey now. I'd rather Hensolt used others as his lackeys. With his amnesia, we're safe. Not so. That's exactly what makes him so dangerous. We have to be careful. Especially now we've broken off with your men for this bunch. There's something else. Sheila de Tanzerville. You're right. Our sorceress is playing hard. De Tanzerville has done her job. We don't need her anymore. We won't kill her. Not just yet. You know best. That's right. The main thing now is to get rid of Hansel. You'll go soon. What about you? I'm heading to Loch Nguyen. That's where things will be decided. We'll meet again soon, if you're careful. To drink a jug of wine and laugh about it? Who knows? I'll take the palisade. We'll meet by the cave entrance. And I heard you stashed some of the duty in the caves near the camp. Quiet! Do you want everyone else to know? I don't know who told you, but you'll get your share if you keep your trap shut. Wake up! I'm dying to hear everything. What did you find out? They said Sheila de Tanzerville was an accomplice in the murder. Sheila? She was here while you were lying in a trance. She said she'd follow the second assassin. Do you remember anything else? They're hiding in the ravines. The other ones probably fled there. Our dead man should have a key on him. Do you remember anything else? There's no time to waste. I'll follow them. Good luck, Geralt. Barret. Sheila knew. She wants to destroy the evidence. What evidence? We didn't want to leave you. What are you talking about? Nearly made it. Just think. The wild hunt. We could have freed the world of the omen of war. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the Peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of cold water, and another victim of the hunt, an 11-year-old boy, his parents 
didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270. A high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270. The Ruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals. All between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. Did you get him? Sheila got to him first. He's dead. The bitch! She's probably on the other side of the mist by now. Come on, Witcher. We've got to remove that damn curse. I got the medallion from the king, the one you were looking for. Here. I'm ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Then there is a chance we will soon move against Edern, and you will recover your memory. I'll need your help, sorcerer, to find the right ghosts. Ah, they will find you. The artifact's aura will lure them. Allow them to think, speak, and act. Then you will know what to do. Geralt, there's something else out there. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It's changed. A drog. I expected as much. Ah. Good luck, Witcher. Thank you. 